What is up? Steph is here from Wasted666. I hope you're having a great day. Welcome to my Shield Strike build guide. Finally, it's here. So shout out to everyone that helped pushing this build in the streams on PMs and everything. I had really a blast playing this build. So much fun. And it's really great. Also, you can play this build from day one. Yeah, this is an act one skill so you can start out straight away on act one playing this straight really deep into the end game um i'm even not even finished i'm going to tell you my plans also where i want to go in this build we are currently sitting on close to 9 million single target tps which is really good so yeah let's start if you have any questions feel free drop them below or join our discord link is also below uh, to hang out with us. Also, there is a written version for this build available. Yeah, also link down below. Okay, so let's start. We're going to start off with the gear, what we need. Um, yeah, so we want to get um, our attack speed. Really, we want to have a high attack speed, so that's why we are using the limb cutter sword. And also, we have hit rate as an implicit on this one too what helps really push the hit hit, hit rate up um, and that's why we are using the limb cutters word in the end game so if you leveling just use anything that really pushes your damage what we are looking for is uh, attack speed attack damage health absorb on attack hit that really helps a lot so for surviving uh, then we have attack damage here that there's also physical damage increased here what you also can get that would be also good here um i don't have that here so i have to still to work on this one too so for the shield and that is really important you want to try pushing your armor as high as you can get it yeah there is a cap we go later into that when we go through the skills yeah uh, gear block expertise plus is a must here then gear armor is a must then health of course yeah we need health get health on this one too then we have also the physical damage here available as a suffix here you want to get that i have two pads that's here i mean block recovery speed is good gears that requirement i don't need that great would be here also chaos resistance um to get my resistance up we go into the resistances then later yeah for the helmet also try to get these resistances up that's really important you want to have capped resistances as you are melee and um, you just need capped resistances then health on this one too here i have hit, uh, I have hit rate also here it's also good then also i don't have um health here what is bad but uh i have the tier 10 with physical damage increased and chaos resistance and fire resistance i really like this one great would be here uh more life here um get your armor up try to get life also and then physical that's a bonus uh chaos resistance fire resistances and resistances yeah for the um chest body, body armor uh you can use just anything that pushes your armor this is for the end game you want to look for the earth um, influenced so that you can get a tier 10 with plus 3 attack damage skill rune level that really pushes your damage a lot then i had really the luck of having really a damn good role here on this one here um, i've invested a lot of materials for this one to craft that but that's damn good i have a ten, tier 10 physical damage taken decrease yeah also really good as a melee then we have lightning resistance fire resistance and rest resistance so that's really how your um chest should look like this is really a damn good one um yeah if you're leveling get some resistances get health that that's and uh, that's really good um i have here the armor penetration we need uh, a little bit armor penetration so they can, can get up to the cap we go into that later then yeah attack speed armor up resistances here also um and um the boots here movement speed of course try to get it as high as you can get it 
great would be if I can get here a tier 11 and tier 12. I also want to get the melee damage up, so that's why I have melee damage also here. And then get your the resistances also for this one. This one has an implicit with increased health here. Yeah, the shield, we had that already. For the necklace, we're using the attack speed necklace here. Physical damage flat increased, physical damage percentage. I don't have health here. That would be really good and I would really need that. That's something I would need to work on. Get here a tier 10 plus percentage health. That would really push my health really a lot. Um, you can even, you can even, um, if you can just get the percentage or the flat damage, or you can get, uh, if you can get uh, additional health, that would help you really a lot. So um, try to aim getting more health and get your health up if you have problems surviving. Resistances. As you can see here, get the resistances up. For the belt, also use the belt with plus uh, health implicit. And I have a really good role here on this one here with plus uh, health flat and plus percentage here. Then get resistances up here. And also if you have problems with your mana, you can get mana potion cooldown on the belt too. I don't have the problem, we go that into that into that later in the zodiac tree then yeah for the rings so this is really a good one i had the luck to drop this one here we have physical flat damage then we have uh, influenced with physical damage increased um you want to get the health attack speed area damage so you can get here area damage physical uh, physical damage and melee damage yeah so that's possible so you want to try to get one of these then get your resistances up so i have here attack speed health hit rate yeah resistance is not so good but i need need the poison resistance to uh, be able to cap that so that was basically the gear let's dive really short into the stats here so that you can see um the defense stats so you can see here try really to cap these resistances that's really important I have chaos resistance only on 32, so I need to work on this one here. So that's also really important for me. Um, yeah, so that's basically the um, stats here, real short. We go into the charms also. So I'm using the Hamal's blessing. We have 10% health, physical damage, health amplification, physical damage. Ah, sorry. Yeah, health amplification physical damage amplification was really good um try just to push up uh your damage what you can get with hamas so this is a pretty good one i have 76 percent damage here critical rate does not help me we are not playing here a crit build plus percentage damage when 200 weapons so i don't have a 200 weapon that would be good um maximized damage we are playing maximized also so this is uh, I need to upgrade this one in the next time here. I have here just hit rate and send rate attack speed. Um, yeah, this is a really good one. A chance to deal double maximized damage on hit and maximized damage. So that's a, that's a pretty good one. But I just need to pop that in to get my um, to get this up to uh, the 140 percentage that you can uh, benefit from the fifth physical damage amplification, what is really massive here. Yeah. So let's dive into the skill stuff what I need. Uh, I didn't have the luck to get here and, and a rune stone, a really good one for my skills. Yeah, we are st starting off with a shield strike. So uh, shield strike uh, level 44. You can see I have plus three from the chest and plus one because I had a sec seven. I had seven successful. Uh, white links and then i think with six you get one level additional level so you will be able to level that uh one additional level so what is really important so you can see that here yeah that is increased damage by 20 percent of shield armor yeah and that can just be a maximum of 550 percentage so if you are leveling through the story try to get always maximum shield armor on your uh yeah on your shield of course 
because that will increase the damage a lot and you will be able to feel that really you will be able to feel that so much yeah that's uh, that really helped me a lot when i was leveling um so make sure you do it you use that um i've also awakened it to uh, the uh, change one large shield area damage amplification and 95 percent damage against elites when distance from enemies 500 or less that's really good you can really feel that origin you can see that up here awakened origin so that's basically the shield strike uh what also the shield strike is doing is you can see that here uh you get here a 50 percent damage penetration so the penetration is um there is not written physical penetration because if you convert that to lightning you will also get lightning penetration to that skill so in terms of that's, that's of kind of for me now that's now armor penetration you can go into this uh your character open up the sheet uh and then you can go down and then you will see armor penetration so i have currently from the zodiac from the zodiac and um from the gloves i think yeah i have 19 percent armor penetration and 50 was it 50 yeah 50 from the skill and a uh, maximum i'm able to have 67 armor penetration is maximum what is uh what i'm able to use now and uh 50 is doing the skill itself and then with the count the um 19 to that we have nine uh 69 sorry 69 67 um yeah that's perfect then great so I just understand that uh you can see all the linked uh, i'm linking fighting spirit here fighting spirit then uh grand approach it took me a long time to get that because i choose the, the wrong on the first thing but well, that's really a massive one uh you can see damage amplification huge but distance decreased and regenerate um three percent of max health if uh per seconds for uh closed enemies uh and that's why we are using then illusion hook to that too yeah quick attack persistence zone we, we are not playing a crit build and also confidence rune will, will make you uh, really with a huge attack speed but uh you will just benefit from that if you have 80 percent or more health so make sure if you use that that you uh, know that yeah then we use the spell activation on attack hit with illusion hook uh smash the smash rune um spell damage increase got here persistence and also acceleration here uh and here oh so that's just the five link for, oops sorry for the last i would use then the let me just get in there red red it's a red this killing machine killing machine also killing machine you get then damage amplification and movement speed amplification so the killing machine that's what i would use then here if i would have a six link so if you're starting out try just to use the skill itself don't link anything in the beginning you will have problems with your mana once you're able to uh, put in a spell activation attack hit you want to put in lightning chain lightning chain connected to acceleration status effect enhancement and continuous shock so that way you will shock the enemies make more damage we just use it with a level one lightning chain just level these two here and also acceleration and you will be good with that uh that was just and once you are able to to uh be able to uh with the mana cost you can see we have 18 80 mana cost and here we have 33 uh, once you're able to uh cast consistently these skills and uh, then you can convert you can put that out and put here illusion hook in there uh make sure that you level it up to 25 if you use five link uh because you wouldn't make so much more damage in terms of the lightning chain so with the lightning chain with the shock rate you would make so much more damage so much damage 
that you would need a uh, level five, uh, sorry, a uh, pipe link illusion hook on level 25 around with the connected uh, skills also on 25 around so 20 25 depends on what you're using uh, then you can start using this setup here bam okay so i'm using seal of striking here also strike damage amplification uh, i'm currently testing seal of condensed destructions so currently these two so if you um use seal of striking or seal of condensed destructions so uh both on level 25 this on uh, rare and this on magic i will do the same damage so you can start out with a seal of condensed destructions if you don't have that so for the end game i think there is a awakening option what will really push your percentage huge huge yeah just to keep that in mind uh, for the end game, I want to try probably getting to Seal of, of Condensed Destructions because you can get that up to 500 percentage increased physical damage and that's really a huge boost that. But you would need to awaken that skill then. Yeah, Fighter's Wrath with increased duration, time acceleration, uh, Enduring Pain help you a lot for leveling also. Then we have Shout of Provocation, Lingering Shout, time acceleration oh i know i just have these normal i would need to make them magic yeah time acceleration then increased duration harsh shout also then we are using electric area yeah as i said if you're using lightning chain use lightning chain connected to your main skill that will do really good and once you convert this to this setup then then use electric areas for the boss and for some elites that need to just put that in yeah i'm using shield charge it's just really fun uh, some are using different skills but shield charge is so much fun i just love to play a shield charge also um i probably tested how much damage it will do because it the damage that is not really bad to be honest here so we're going to test it out this arm use count and teleport here yes that was basically the skill stuff then we are going into the relic avatar of boreal using that here you can see here damage amplification massive then we're using um the uh, curse of power physical damage taken amplification for cursed enemies and the skill rune cooldown recovery speed so i'm currently leveling the avatar of spicer um i want to get the avatar of spice where is it uh this one here um the five person chance to deal double maximize damage on hit so that's basically the skill what i want to use then but i need to level level 30 and then also pulverize when i use an always the pulverize effect pulverize effect um uh pulverize bleed chance 20 percent you have done a 20 percent bleed chance 10 percent damage amplification against bleeding enemies also you will get a really nice push then against also then we could have then in there the effect put the effect up pulverize effect up um that would be the plan for the avatar stuff yeah so then let's move into oh, 20 minutes already in there let's move into the zodiac uh you want to try you want to put in dexterity and strength on a three on one ratio so you want to put in three points into strength and one into dexterity dexterity will push as you know will push your uh, hit rate also and when strength you will get uh, more health and armor okay let's so just i hope uh, my face is not in the way one you can see that here attack um damage up my attack more health damage up my attack we just go real fast through everything two so you can see that uh this will be also be on the website then three don't forget anything um three or so this yeah and this also real important then 
five, eight, and six here. Six. Six. Here's some very nice attack speed here. Cool person. Um, here's the armor penetration and max armor penetration, also what I just uh, talked about. Um, then this. Yeah. Okay, six, then let's go into seven. Um, area damage, 20 percent. This was a nice boost element. Resist. Uh, and then uh, eight. So let's try this one. Dodge disabled health amplification, really massive one. Physical damage taken, dampening. You can also um, go into here fire damage taken, dampening, cold damage taken, dampening, lightning damage taken, dampening, poison damage taken, dampening. If you need to go in there too, you can do that. Then uh, this here. You can push here uh, one handed because we have a one handed weapon also. Maximize damage as you can see here. Then we can also use this one because we have a shield equipped. So that means we can also skill this one here also. So that's really good then. Um, okay, that was eight. And let's just get into nine also. I can see that here. Yeah, great. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them below. So let's get into the um, specification. Ah, specification. Specialization. Specialization here. So this is the first here. And this is convert mana here. So, um, so that's why you will need kind of a life leech. You will need a life leech. Uh, because you will just use your life to get mana here. Yeah. Attack speed amplification is really massive here also. Uh, uplift effect, we got the strike damage amplification here also. Very nice. Uh, and for this, so you will need to finish the Act 11. Act 11 on the challenge uh, mode, yeah. Then you would be able to put in here two points. So I would really recommend doing that once you're able to do that. So let's get into here. You can see that Tempest also, yeah. You can see that Tempest is really great. We will get a movement speed also here. And we get the movement speed from our from our skill also here. From the acceleration also, yeah. So that is really a nice combination. So we are able to use Tempest, get movement speed from Tempest and also acceleration here. Critical hit disabled also, strike damage amplification. Then, yeah, and here you would be able to put one, two, two more points in there. Uh, if you finish Act 12 also in the challenge mode, I have done that, but uh, you probably don't need really to do that because the only point what I had to put in is here the 15% damage up and at the, uh, because we don't need sharpness overheat also not overheat also not or element penetration is this will also not help us if we play physical build but if you play that on of course on uh, lightning or anything converted you, would, you can use that so then the last here last is the best uh, yeah resource cost amplification strike damage amplification 12 percent error damage also attack speed amplification that's a really nice one and resource cost and you can see that i have that in here so if if you don't have a weapon that has health absorb on hit yeah use this one if you have the convert mana in there yeah so if you're playing with convert mana what i just told you this convert mana if you're playing with that yeah, uh, you can go this way also here, overpower. Also, this is really a nice way, overpower effect. Then you have here also, maximize damage on hit with crit chance. You can go this way also if you want to. If you don't want to play convert mana, uh, if you play convert mana, then go here and use this one too. Okay, yeah, that was really nice. 
Oh man, this was really so much fun playing this. We have 27 minutes in there. Um, I'm really sorry it took a little bit longer, but I hope I explained everything really clearly so that um, everything is clear to you. So let's just try for fun. Um, a dummy with one. Yeah, it's just one. Dummy. Oh. So it's showing 10 million. It's the lightning 11. It's really messy. Shock rate is really messy. It increases the damage a lot, man. If you shot the enemies. 9.3. Okay, yeah. The weapon is not perfect. The skill has needs to be upgraded and everything. So, um. So we will be able to push in 10 million for the next day. Yeah. Oh, new record. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy this build. If there are any questions, as always, just drop them below. Or join our Discord to hang out. Have a great day. Enjoy Undecember. See you very soon. Cheers.